Hey guys, thank you for joining us for your Transformation 360B workout. For all of my beginners out there, this is your core workout. Remember I said when we first began that we're going to get you a lot stronger, build that endurance, and of course really focus in on strengthening those core muscles. So this is going to be the first of a series of a lot of core workouts, but I want you to start here to slowly work your way up. So let's get started with the warm up. And to join me today, I have my girl, Chelsea, Michelle, and we got Belle. So I got my team. I hope you have yours as well. Start those legs nice and wide, arms out, taking the body all the way over for a deep stretch. Gently working on those obliques, keeping the front of the tummy tight. Take it all the way up and take it to the other side. Very gentle on the body. The main thing that I want you all to think about as you're doing this workout, go ahead and twist, is pulling the navel towards the spine. Very important when doing core work is learning how to do it properly. Switch to the other side, ladies. Instead of pulling on your neck or hurting your lower back. So if you get that only from this workout, you're already ahead of the game, okay? Go ahead and give me a deep inhale in. Exhale. One more, inhale in. Exhale. Go ahead and take it all the way down. Just gently relax all the vertebrae in the spine. Relax those shoulders, relax the neck, relax the glute muscles. Yes, those get very tense when doing ab work. And roll up slowly for four, three, two, one. All right, ladies, let's go ahead and take everything down to the floor. But don't you get started yet. I'm actually gonna demonstrate the exercises and I want you and my team here to watch me first. So the first exercise is going to be a standard floor crunch. So you have your hands behind your head, your navel towards your spine, so your back is pressed firmly against your floor, your carpet, your mat, and you're just gonna come up slowly and roll right back down. Nice and simple, right? No strain. Now your next exercise is going to be a plank. If you're really true to exercising or truly, truly new to exercising, go ahead and do it on your knees, keeping the back nice and flat. And then if you are strong enough, go up on those toes. 30 seconds, then repeat both of those, and you get to rest for 30. Okay, ladies, are you ready? Ready. You got it? Got it. All right. You ready? For three, two, one. Let's go. Take your time. Now it's very important right here to remember that we're just getting started with this workout. So do not go too high yet, all right? Because your number one, your back is not warm enough yet. And neither are your abs, slowly working to it. It's a 10 minute workout, but give your body the time it needs to do it properly. All right, you've got three seconds, two, give me one more here. Go right into that plank, ladies, immediately in 30 seconds. All right? Belle, go ahead and go on your knees on this one. So if you need to remember the modification, just watch Belle back there. She's on her knees, but she's still pulling her navel away from the floor, engaging her transverse abdominal muscle. So she's still getting a great core workout. All right? So it doesn't mean you're slacking. It just means that you're working at your own level. So that's okay, too. Stay there for three, two, three. One, back in your back, into those crunches. Let's go. And back down, good, keep going. So if you're a little warmer and you're feeling things kind of come together, synergistically, I love that word, go ahead and go a little higher. So Michelle, if you're feeling it, you can go a little higher, but keep those feet on the floor. We never want to compromise good form, right? Because if you're working correctly, it doesn't matter how high you're going. All right, we got that plank right away. All right. Good, ladies. Make sure you're nice and flat. And about this time, you're going to come up on your toes. Yeah, she doesn't have to modify. She's just showing you guys an alternative. And Chelsea, you go on your knees this time. So anyone can. Even if you've been working out for a while, you just kind of want to go back through it, drop to the knees occasionally. It's totally okay. Give me three. Two, one, bring it on up. We got 30 seconds to go ahead and just breathe for a second. <laughs> They're like, good, okay. Breathing is good. 
And I'm also going to show you the next set of exercises. So it's going to look like this. Remember that good old fashioned bicycle we used to do? Well, you're going to do it here. Then you're going to go right into a side twist. Take one leg up, hand out, one hand behind the shoulder, behind the head. Bring that shoulder towards the knee. All right? Ladies, you ready? Ready. All right, get ready. Three, two, one, one. Good. Take your time. Now make sure you're really bringing that shoulder blade around, okay? A lot of times we turn in that elbow towards the knee, and that's not correct. Keep it going, ladies. Almost there. Three, two, one. Take that leg up, arm out, let's go. Still bringing the shoulder all the way across. Good. So if you're a little stronger, like let's say Chelsea, go ahead and raise up your bottom leg off the ground, and you can do it there too, okay? Keep it up, working a little bit more of the lower abs. Give me three, two, one, and back to those bicycles. Let's go. One, two, three. Keep it going. I know you're starting to burn a little bit because even though these are simple, they're still not easy, okay? Your body is still working, maybe doing something you've never done. So don't ever take that for granted. Embrace that burn. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Now you're going to take the opposite leg and let's go. Bring it up. Michelle, go ahead and raise that bottom leg up. There you go. You knew it was your turn soon. She's like, yippee. Oh, yeah. Wait for it. And back down. And up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Good job, ladies. Give me four more. Four, three, two, one. And go ahead and take those 30 seconds. Moving on to your circuit three and your cool down. Guys, you're almost done. All right, guys, you've seen the exercises. Let's get started. Those bicycles, bring it down, ladies. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four. Good job, guys. Make sure that you're bringing your shoulder around on these bicycles as well, all right? So a lot of times people bring the elbow around and just tap the knee, but they stop working the obliques. When you're bringing the shoulder towards your knee, then that re-emphasizes the muscles that you're targeting, right? Keep it here. Almost. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. Take that leg up. Side twist. Once again, bringing the shoulder towards the knee. Good. Bring it up. Now, to make this a little bit harder, let's go ahead and pick up Michelle. Michelle, raise that bottom leg. She already, she's already doing it, guys. She knows what I got coming up. You work with me long enough to know how we intensify a lot of the things that we do. If you're ready, keep it going. Three, two, one. Back to the bicycles. One, two, three, four. Good job, guys. So remember those corrections from earlier. Keep it going. Looking good. Halfway there. Just think about those beautiful flat muscles. Nice sculpted midsection, nice strong, healthy core. Keep it going, guys. Three, two, one. Opposite side. Let's take it up. Little side twist. And two. Good. So, Chelsea, you go ahead and raise that bottom leg. Challenge yourself a little bit more. Bringing that shoulder towards the knee that's up. I guess I should challenge myself, too. Bella, Michelle, don't you want to join us? Sure. Yeah, like, not really. Five seconds, three seconds, 
two, one, bring it all the way down. Beautiful, guys. You got your 30-second break, but while you're resting, I want you to see your neck surface so we can move right on the wall, all right? You're doing beautifully. You're gonna take those hands under the buttocks but towards the bottom of them. Press your lower back into your floor. Those legs come straight up in the air. Now you're gonna take them to about a 45 degree angle. Press right back up. So try to keep the back of the ground as you do those. From there, your second exercise is just your scissors. Right here, still at a 45. Fight to keep the lower back of the ground. All right guys, you're ready to go. Three, two, one. Let's go, lower those legs. Raise it up, nice. So your challenge here is really fighting to keep the back on the ground. So if you notice that when you go low, it comes up and you can't control it, that's a perfect way to tell you that you're going too low. And don't allow yourself to do that, okay? Everything comes in time. You don't have to force it. This is your beginner core, so I'm not expecting you to do the same thing you're gonna do when you do the elite. All right, but you'll get there. Last one, hold it down, give me those scissors. Same thing with the scissors. If you're feeling any discomfort in the back, raise those legs. You can take them all the way up if you need to. Chelsea, why are you taking them all the way up? Get your legs back there. Uh, why are they taking advantage of this situation? Do they not know? Take your legs there, right here. Look, I have to turn into Mama Bashiro for a second. Stay here. Four seconds, three, two, one. Bring those knees into the chest nice and gentle. Guys, is that two rounds? No. Okay, it was one. It was one. Yeah, so we gotta do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Legs up, leg raises. That sounded so sad. <laughs> Down and up. I felt like that was too easy. <laughs> I was like, that was a breeze. Uh, not so much, lady. <laughs> and uh, that's okay, because we enjoy this, you all. Or maybe we don't enjoy the actual activity sometimes, but we certainly do enjoy the results. We enjoy how strong our bodies become, how much more power we have over ourselves. You know, it's something special just to know that you can control the way your body moves. All right, go ahead and give me one more of these. And then you're gonna go ahead and hold it down. Give me those scissors. Woo. Remember what I said about the lower back. If these are too low, take it a little bit higher. Do not compromise the back. You never wanna create back pain. It's totally unnecessary to cause it during your activity. Keep it going, guys. Look, I don't work my shoelaces loose. That's true working out. Here we go, four, three, Two, one, and bring them up. Whew. Beautiful job, guys. Bring those knees into the chest, relieving a lot of the pressure on that lower back. Nice and gentle. Ladies, how you feeling? Great. Whew. I'm not gonna say anything about them cheating on a couple of them because I really saw them, but that's okay. Because you can send it in an email to our contact form. Okay, that is Chelsea. That is Michelle, that is them. All right, please address them accordingly. Don't send it to me. Okay. All right, guys. I know that awful. Throwing my team under the bus. All right, guys. Hands under. Go ahead and pull all the way back, stretching that back out. No, they did an amazing job, guys. They haven't been doing this their entire lives, some of them longer than others, but. This is work for them too. So them just even being here, putting in the effort with a smile, that's big. It's really, really hard, right? Whew. Let's go ahead and flip on over to our cobra position. So you're on your stomach and take those hands underneath the shoulder blades and gently push off the floor, but just a little. Enough to go ahead and stretch those abs out. Bring it right back down. Let's do the same thing again. Bring it up. Now from here, you're gonna push all the way up. Go ahead and complete the movement by shifting into a child pose and try to sit on the heels if you can. 
You can also go up on the balls of your feet if that's a little easier and press your shoulder pits and your armpits towards the floor. Loosening up the vertebrae in the back. Hold it here for four, three, two, one. Go ahead and come to a quad position. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your wrist. And go ahead and round that back, pulling the navel towards the spine. And arch it, taking the head up and really stretching out the abdominal cavity. One more time. Arch and round now. Sorry, round that back, not arch it. Navel towards the spine. And arch, bringing that head up, opening up the chest, opening up the thoracic cavity. Well, I got scientific on y'all. Did you hear me say thoracic cavity? <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> All right, guys. You are done with your 10 to 12 minute core workout. But remember, this is a beginner level. You can still go back to this at any time, but feel free to also try our intermediate, advanced, and elite core workouts as well. So we look to see you very soon at Transformation 360B.